Hi there everybody, this is Dark Mobile bringing a super awesome video and today I'm gonna show you what I have been doing around the place so I hope you like what I'm showing you and now I'm in the nether and I, I fought long and hard and I decided when I want to show you something around the place I I would give into get into considering considering actually showing you uh, uh, basically a world tour in creative mode so I mean it's it's gonna make the episodes go faster and yeah why not right so let's see let's see what I'm be doing like this is the my uh, tunnel to the swamp biome and you can see you have lots of uh, cool designs for the this uh, tunnel let's have this um, stairs stair finger design like with the holes and the purple wool pumpkins here and there I've put like uh, little spaces with lots of other stuff that represents the swamp like brewing like uh, you know what call it nether warts brewing stand and a brewing cauldron a couple of vines here and there make it more like unique because if I didn't put this stuff and the pumpkins they will look pretty pretty all the same pretty uninteresting and actually I'm in the middle I mean in the middle the end of the tunnel like it's over there actually somewhere is the end and here is where it overlaps with the other uh, other uh, tunnel which it goes to the roof forest and here I have another design of course different type of wood different biome and this, uh, what you may call a 3D sort of a mushroom uh, tree with a blue sky and some grass with clay on the back. Looks pretty nice actually. And yeah, this is basically how, what these two uh, tunnels are. And here and there, when when there's open area, I put glass so I can look, take a look outside, see what's going on. And like I said, I'm gonna use this creative just to show you around faster with without getting too hungry. I mean, I I think that's that doesn't cons doesn't uh, consider it cheating, right? I'm not giving myself nothing. I'm just showing you what's been happening. And of course, recently I put lots of pumpkins even on the outsides because that was a tunnel sort of design. This is the outside, I put a couple of pumpkins here and there and pots, flower pots with mushrooms to make it look more swampy, you know. And of course lots of vines. And of course these are two other tunnels, two one, one of the many tunnels. Here is the big place I cleared out. There was a fortress here because when you clear the big area there's lots more uh, wither skeletons spawning. Kill them, get their heads and... Uh, kill the wither someday maybe we're gonna make an episode when we fight the wither so it goes through this fortress then it goes down these stairs la -di -da. and basically this is like it's actually it's this is the the my watch the shortest tunnel of all them all and of course I have made these banners to represent of course swamp area again with which that banner looks pretty nice don't, I wouldn't. I don't want to lie, but that looks pretty neat. And that is thanks to my wither farm, because that's a wither skeleton skull. Yep. Then there's this clay, the clay, the mesa biome tunnel. Nothing too fancy, pants. You know, it's simple design. Sand, red sandstone on the sides, uh, fences, and different colors. To make it look like I don't know, like a rainbow. Then slabs for the staircase, so I can, if I'm going through this place without a horse or I forgot a horse, I can run up without uh, getting caught up in one of these blocks, and I have to jump, 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 and lo lose lots of hunger. Easy way. And then goes over here, and it's actually this is the longest tunnel actually for, of them all. And this is recently I made a nice little tunnel place 
because like basically I use this design for the outer places which are basically outside and this is the tunnel you know with uh, lots of the other type of uh, red sandstone blocks like the chisel one that looks like a wither smooth stone and on the on the bottom slabs because slabs if you uh, most of you know that prevents from zombie pigment to spawn here I don't want any zombie pigment in my tunnels then I have in the middle sections of this 5x3 five by, five by area some lights and lots of other clay to make it nice and colorful then on like I said some of these open sides uh, I use the same color scheme but with glass because it's cool actually it's a nice little bridge over lava and why not see all the other stuff going around the place and then it goes up here continues under this mountain okay, uh, over over overhang sort of thing then goes over here goes up here and goes to this tunnel which basically is the same thing as the last thing and down here recently I thought it was cool to make this since it's a floating sort of a way high up thing I decided to make it look like a bridge and made the supports from uh, netherrack because I have lots of it lots and lots and I do mean a, a ton of it actually and made these like nether nether brick uh, stairs like uh, sub, uh, like what you call it like uh, things that uh, keep the keep the bridge from collapsing like uh, sub uh, what you call it boats boats or mm, uh, rivets rivets yeah rivets something like that you know that keeps the the whole which we call it um, bridge together and I have them here here and of course in the middle sections and actually I'm happy that how this looks pretty neat I won't lie this is actually my first time building a some sort of a bridge sort of a design and turn out okay with the support and stuff and of course I have lots of other places when I and the bridge is uh, like way up in the sky and it needs supports underneath and I'm gonna put more supports of course to make it as much re as much realism as it possibly can so this is like the would say the design the design I came up with it's like it's simple but sometimes when you're big, making big uh, long tunnels to other places uh, and they basically you have to have a lots of you're gonna need lots of time for building these tunnels you would need um, a simple design to go with and here I don't know what's up with that why is it mis mismatched colors I don't know what's, what happened there because it goes like it's, it's weird you know like even here you know you have green then a different green then this green and yeah something something that I finally got wrong with the design I know what doesn't bother me that much so let's go back to the overworld and see what else is going on around the place first thing I did was level up the whole yard of course to be on one level because it was several several levels because uh, like it's here is like 69 then it goes one up goes to 70 and it's like different elevation uh, so I leveled it up build a nice little basketball court and a volleyball court which I don't think this is the place they should be at uh, my main move them somewhere else yet another design banner for the nether tunnel system or whatever or the nether 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 whatever <laughs> nether nether whatever with the cool, cool little cool uh, scary skulls skeleton skulls uh, what else what else what else what else let's see let's see well yeah here on this main path I changed the glowstone with with the sea lanterns which I have lots of because I have a fish farm anyway 
to get them. So I changed them up. And <coughs> I made another banner for the <coughs> for the wheat farm. Which I don't know. Actually that's that's the only design I found on this site with the banner when it when you have lots of designs for banners. This is the the closest you can get to a farm area. And I don't know what it looks like actually. Does it look like a flower or a wheat with a stem? Hmm. Well, it looks looks nice. Looks nice. Fits the bill. A uh, little minor change over here. I got rid of the fences like they're separate that separates each farm. Like there was one here, one here. I mean, I there. I don't know. I don't need them. It's a the the whole area basically was one big farm area basically. So I would need only actually on the outside fences. I don't need the other other ones. They're they don't have much of a point to them, you know. Only this outside fence to keep all the stupid mobs out. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I made a nice little chicken design banner for the farm area for the animal farm area to be precise. Uh, what else? What else? Is there to see? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some uh, let's just say interior designs for my place because I didn't know what to do with the first floor. So dum da -da dum, I have a kitchen area now. A fridge if I want to eat some chicken. I I got the foods from up there in here. Cook them up and get get snacking. Then I have a little couch, uh, chill out area with a couch, a table, a cup of co a cup of coffee, which I drink in the morning, and watch something on the TV with the speakers. You know, I don't know what these pictures represent. What kind of a, is there? A, is some, it's like you watch now. I don't know a movie and about this little boy and there's like this guy who's like wanted for killing or mass murder or whatever. You got the on on off switches. And you basically chill out here and watch TV, drink your coffee, eat if you need and whatnot. And I put this little flower pot with this flower which I found recently in uh, I found the flower forests. Which basically I'm gonna have another farm over there to farm lots of different different sort of flowers if I want to have for decorations. I mean I have I have most of them around. You know, like Allium, uh, the blue orchid is only from swamps. That's that's uh, different. You know I have to get from a different biome, but whatever. These ones I can farm pretty easily over here. And basically I just need these: the tulips, the orange, red, white, and pink. From that special bomb and all the other stuff, whatever. Uh, it's not like I I know every last one of them. I don't I don't remember all the flowers types. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I almost forget. And actually, this uh, just doing you doing these world tours in creative is actually more e easy. To show you all the stuff around, and it's in a small amount of time, not not uh, too much uh, running around, you know. Actually, I'm I like it. And new banners for my zombie farm, which I mean that doesn't look like, like a zombie much. I mean, the description was it of the banners was actually a Frankenstein monster or something, not a zombie, but I mean that's close close enough. I call, I suppose close enough. And let's see, let's see what else, what else, yeah, ah, one more thing, which is, I mean, work in progress, but it's not a big secret, of course, like, I'm gonna have this, like, when you see these grass blocks here and there, there basically is gonna be another path to that new area, which goes from here, goes around here, then over here I'm gonna make a little bridge, goes over here, put lots of trees because I did, to build this uh, thing I had to chop basically the whole area, all the trees and so much dirt to be dug to make the elevation of the whole place like uh, even, even Steven to 
what was it, 64? And basically, it's a, basically the the mother, the mother, and I do mean the mother of all sheep farms. Yep, and yeah, basically get all the colors of the sheep. Well, actually, there are 16, 16 types of sheep, but actually the farm has more than 16 spots, so I did use all these other one, two, three, four, five areas, which are. I don't know what to do, so I was thinking maybe produce more of the regular uh, regular wool than all the others because it's more more mostly use useful. I have the brown sheep, gra uh, light gray, uh, light light green or lime, green, orange, red. Uh, that's not red, you dummy. That's uh, yellow. Get your uh, get your game on, son. Red, pink, magenta, purple, white, uh, white, light blue, cyan blue, uh, light gray, dark gray, and the black, and a big, a big uh, surplus of uh, chests so I can collect lots and lots of wool. I have lots of shears, lots of wheat. Just to get all these other sheep, I was uh, like walking around this whole area collecting sheep with. Uh, do I have it in my inventory? Maybe, I don't know. I had leads, basically leads, you know, that, those ropes you can tie horses and other stuff. And I was going around with six leads and collecting sheep one by one. Then, of course, I bred them a little bit with the wheat to make a uh, big... To basically have more sheep. More sheep means more wool. More wool means more supplies, basically. And I would say I would. I'm happy how that worked. This is like a big ass circle. I didn't. I in the beginning I wasn't sure it was big enough for, to get old, but actually it is actually more big than I already needed. But whatever. It's like uh, what was it? 71. Basically, that's the home, the radius of the thing. 70. It's huge. It's huge. And then I chopped lots and lots of other trees around the place, cause yeah, that's a lot of wood. I won't lie to you there, there. That's a lot of wood. And one day when I make the pet, and basically I have lots of saplings at home. Don't worry, I'm gonna replant all the stuff. I'm not anti. Uh, I don't have nothing against nature. I will plant some more trees down, but I would like to do it in a get it would like to do it in uh, like a circular shape like put, put the trees go like around and the rest in the back or on ground and of course when I make this pet I'm gonna put trees on both sides of the pet so it has a nice like curved cool look to it you know like a welcoming thing like you're walking here then you just imagine a pathway and trees on both sides with a little bit of a fences here and there like in this beginning area. Like something like this basically with lights and stuff. Mm. So basically goes to this other place which like, it's, ooh yeah, that is huge man, that is huge. That's the mother of all ship farms. I like it. Took a little bit of time to build it, but in the end I'm happy how it worked out. And of course put some carpets so I can jump from one thing to another. Easy. So I don't want, need to open this every time, no. Easy way to get around. Shear all the sheep. Get lots of wool and do other stuff. Whatever I'm gonna do with all, all this wool. And I call it... And don't quote me on that one, it's called the Rainfall Farm. Basically because you have all these covers, you know, all the covers of the rainbow. Rainbow Farm, yay. So I guess this is all that I have as uh, progress on this place. I mean, I have lots of other projects, don't get me wrong. Which, which are still work in progress. Of uh, which project the Nether Tunnel is like the Biggest ever, like all these tunnels, they take take uh, the most the most time ever to build. And I have these small projects, like I mean the ship farm 
It wasn't actually a small project, but I actually did that in one day, in one go. Uh, since I have a villager over there who gives me tools for emeralds, so it wasn't such a hard thing. And I am using, don't get me wrong, I, may, I am using some of the, my diamonds, especially for shovels, because that cheap, just one, one diamond for a shovel, and when you get a cool enchantment like I'm breaking, you can, you can dig this whole area with just with one shovel, which wasn't the case actually, it was with two shovels, but it, it gets the job done. And I suppose I'll see you in the next one, guys. I don't have nothing else to tell you and show you. And uh, like I said, I am going to do this show and tell world tours was from now on with, uh, with the help of uh, creative mode. Because it's easier to go around and show you all the stuff. And so, thank again for watching, guys. Have a nice day. And like I said, I'm gonna move this basketball court somewhere else and make it... Oh, actually, I didn't tell you about that. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, like a slime block uh, um, a pit with a piston, which is gonna shoot me up. Then I can, cause I can uh, that way I can reach the basket and like a f basketball with a chicken yeah, in my hand. Why not? And yeah, and. I'm not satisfied with the location of these two things. I, I will move them when I figure out where is the best place to move them. And of course get lots of other creepers like this guy so I would have a better chance of getting a charged creeper so I can get his head. Because you know, when you have lots of them around it's... I mean the bigger the chance is one of them will get hit by lightning. Because if you had just one here and the lightning strikes like over here it's... yeah. It's not gonna... it's it's a lower chance, basically, to have a charge creeper. And... yeah. That, that's definitely it, guys. So, thank you again for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Uh, stay healthy. And catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.